In this segment of the recordings, we review the architectural design and the interrelationships of the life cycle development models. This project, labeled DMV, models the various aspects of a registry and motor vehicles department, an organization most users are familiar with. The following models represent the functions, processes, and data of a registry of motor vehicles. We begin with the functional decomposition diagram, displaying the high-level business functions and the high-level business processes. The functional licensing department has been decomposed to show additional high-level business processes. At some point in the model development, entirely up to you, you can spawn the data flow hierarchy based on the processes listed on this decomposition diagram. Select the business function, right mouse click, choose the spawn new DFD set. Notify the verify menu item here, allowing you to verify that the process hierarchy displayed on this decomposition diagram matches the hierarchy as displayed on the data flow diagram. We'll choose the new DFD set. The project contains some previously created data flows and these diagrams will be updated with the three new processes. The context level model is automatically displayed showing the external entities, the net input and the net output data flows, and the data store. Right mouse click on the process and choose Explode to open the child diagram. As you continue to explode processes, the net input and the net output data flows attached to the process are carried down to the child diagram for model balancing purposes. Create a new diagram. The net input data flows are listed on the left side of the model. The net output data flows are listed on the right side of the model. When I save the diagram, a nest relationship is created between this child model and the parent process. The diagram is saved with the name of the process that was exploded, but you can change that name if you so choose. Each diagram or model can be analyzed. Select Diagram, Analyze, click OK, and any errors or warnings are displayed in the Analysis Error dialog box. Click the Help button to access the online help screen explaining the generation of these error messages and ways to correct the errors. Each data flow on the child level can be split into component data flows to show more detail at these lower levels. Right mouse click, choose split data flow, and enter the subflows into the subflows field here. When I access the repository entry for this data flow, we see that it contains one attribute person information. When I jump person information, I see that this is actually a data structure. The data structure contains a number of individual data elements. This data structure is used, as shown on the locations tab, by a number of class objects, a number of data flows, as well as the entity student driver here. Because of this common reuse and integration of the models, we're able to create an entity relationship diagram based on the common use of these data elements by a process. Exit the repository, choose File, View of Data Model, Process, select the Process Administer Road Test, click OK. These entities are related to that particular process because they share common data elements. This diagram happens to be displayed at the attribute level but there are many ways to display the primary key level of these entities as well as the rest of the attributes for the entities themselves. Thank you. This was a review of the interrelationship for the Visible Analyst.